February 5th, 2018. Do have a quorum? Let's please stand and pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All individuals are asked to either silence or turn off cell phones, pages, or other electronic devices that may disrupt the meeting. Approval of the agenda. Approve the agenda as posted in accordance with the open meeting law and here in place all agenda items on the table for discussion. What's the wish of the council? Make a motion to approve the agenda. Second. Got a motion by Alderman Hercock, second by Councilmember Lundberg. For approval, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries approval of the minutes for the special work session meeting of January 16th, 2018 and the regular meeting of January 16th, 2018. What is the wish of the council? I move to approve the minutes. Second. Got a motion by Council Member Lundberg, second by Council Member Canofla to approve the minutes. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Approval of the bills, checks number 97872 through 97952, totaling $2,906,655.89. What is the wish of the council? I'll make a motion to approve the bills. Second. Got a motion by Council Member Hansen, second by Council Member Lundberg to approve the bills. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Awards, donations, presentations. Uh, we got donations, resolution 2018-11, except fourth quarter 2017 donations. Adopt, Larry. Um, yes, this is a list of donations we received um, during the fourth quarter of 2017. Um, POW and USA flags from the American Legion for use in the Parks Department. Paul and Maria Becker, a $1,000 cash donation to the Fire Department. Golfers Organized for Little Falls, which is also known as golf, um, had their contribution for the golf course, $7,200. Robin Hensel did a uh, pencil drawing um, called New Iraq, um, requesting it be hung at the library in the lobby um, next to the creation of man. Um, drawing that is already there. The Little Falls Fire Relief Association donated $2,316.80 for a gas meter at the fire department. Little Falls Lions Club, $300 for the golf course. The local youth artist project, um, garbage can art for the parks and streets. And the Lone Eagle Auto Club, $100 for the fire department. What's the wish of the council? I make a motion to accept resolution 2018-11. Second. Got a motion by Councilmember Gushek, second by Councilmember Kanafla for resolution 2018-11. Any discussion? Hearing none, resolution, call a roll please. Hercock? Yes. Gushek? Yes. Lundberg? Yes. Silka? Yes. Hanfler? Yes. Kanafla? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Carries. Consent agenda, advertisement for seasonal summer employees, golf course and parks and streets, authorized. Airport commission minutes, January 2018 received. Application for exempt permit, dam festival, raffle and bingo approved. Engineering in internship, on the job training, Logan Shewitt, authorized and approved. Mayor's appointment to various authorities, boards, bureaus, commissions and committees, approved. Morrison County chaplaincy, Agreement 2018-2019, authorized and approved. Public Works Report, December 2017 received. Recycling Reports, October through December 2017 and year-end totals, 2017 received. Reviewed Financial Statement for Friends of Linden Hill, Friends of Pine Grove Zoo and Senior Center, Incorporated, received. <coughs> what is the wish of the Council on the consent? Make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Second. Second. Got a motion by Council Member Gushek, second by Mayor Zilka for approval. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Public hearings and lettings. We got uh, under lettings, squad vehicle, Nelson Auto, Police Department, Chief. 
I am requesting authorization to purchase a new police vehicle for 2018. Uh, we took uh, bids uh, from Nelson Auto uh, in Fergus Falls, uh, uh, Hibbing or Ford of Hibbing and NJPA. Uh, the lowest bid uh, was Nelson Auto, and we purchased, I believe, our last two or three uh, vehicles from them. So I'd be requesting authorization to purchase a new uh, uh, 2018. Uh, Ford Police Interceptor Four Door Police Utility Vehicle uh, from Nelson Auto Center in Fergus Falls for twenty nine thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. What's the wish of the council? I move to authorize. To Go ahead, Brad. <laughs> Got a motion by Alan Mahurkak and second. Second. We have a second by Councilmember Lundberg for approval. Any discussion? I think Nelson Auto and Ford of Hibbing are the state. Don't we do something with the state bid? The state bid this year is uh, Ford of Hibbing, but Nelson Auto came in, came in lower than uh, the Could state it? bid. So, <laughs> Thanks for checking. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Street Savers Software. Public Works, Greg? Yeah, this evening we are requesting authorization to purchase a program called Street Saver. It'll help us uh, program the roads, which ones to, to do, uh, give us a better idea of what maintenance activities to prolong the, the payment as much as we can. Uh, it is in the amount of $7,560 with an annual uh, fee of $1,500. The seventy five sixty dollars would just be this year, and then in uh, subsequent years would be $1,500 per year for the software. So we did uh, budget this, uh, this amount, and we are asking approval tonight. What's the wish of the council? I move to authorize. Second. I've got a motion by Councilmember Ludenberg, second by Councilmember Hansen for approval. Any discussion? Does it let you put in any information about the condition of the utilities underground to look at that as part of it? This does not, um, so that will have to be a separate one that we uh, blend into it, but right now this is strictly on the uh, the pavement itself to, to try to prolong the pavement. So it does not take into account the utilities underneath it. So this is going to help with the preventive maintenance, Correct. the seal coating, the seal coating crack sealing, yep. that kind of stuff? Yep, to help program when that, that comes around, yep. So fifteen hundred dollars a year for software seems awfully steep. You'd be surprised. Some of the other ones we have are, are quite a bit more than that, just because of the the software that we have and the specialty um, programs that we run. Um, this is on the lower end of our software. I think expenses. you're going to get a return on this investment. No doubt. No doubt. Any other discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Under old business, public improvement 378, proposed surface and or street utility improvements. So the, so the first stretch that we have is uh, Fifth Street Northwest. Uh, if you recall, uh, this was a segment that was um, petitioned by the residents for sewer, or excuse me, for blacktop, curb and gutter. Um, since then, we uh, expanded the project to include the sewer because of the shape of the sewer that we found it in. Um, so tonight, we are looking at approving the. Uh, staff to go ahead and get the plans and specs together so that we can go ahead. Um, and talk to the council about that in the future. Um, tonight, we're looking for you to, to approve staff creating the plans and specs. I do need a 7 8 vote <coughs> tonight to move forward with it. Um, so if anyone is contemplating voting against the project tonight, I would ask that we table it simply because I need all seven here to vote because Wayne's absence is technically a no vote if we vote. What's the wish of the council on resolution 2018-04? Make a motion to adopt 2018-04. Second. Got a motion by Alderman Hercock, second by Councilmember Hansen for resolution 2018-04, order in 5th Street Northwest. Any discussion? Hearing none, resolution, call a roll. Gushik? Yes. Lundberg? Yes. Silka? Yes. Hanfler? Yes. Kanafla? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Hercock? Yes. Carries. Resolution 2018-05, order in 5th Street Northeast. 
The next segment we're looking at is uh, basically one block north of the area we just talked about. Uh, we reconstructed this stretch uh, in 2017 with the blacktop curb and gutter. And so with the passage of this Fifth Street one, we are also requesting to uh, authorize staff to prepare the plans and specs for this stretch. Again, like the previous one, and this goes for all of them, if we're con considering voting no against it, I would ask that the council table it until the following meeting. What is the wish of the council on resolution 2018-05? I'll make a motion to adopt resolution 2018-05. I'll second. I got a motion by Councilmember Hanson, second by Councilmember Canofla on resolution 2018-05. Any discussion? Yeah, it, so you said there was one opposition mm -hmm. on the south side? Correct. Uh, and this was initiated, so it's a 7 8 7 8 it just makes sense to me to continue that right through having that one area and it is going to make that property more valuable Correct. maybe the owners right now are looking at it they don't want to pay extra tax and stuff but uh that area needs to be done so i'm in favor of it any other discussion Hearing none, resolution, call a roll, please. Lundberg? Yes. Silka? Yes. Canfler? Yes. Knopfla? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Hercock? Yes. Gushik? Yes. Carries. Resolution 2018-06, order in 8th Street Southeast. The next segment that we're looking at is 8th Street Southeast. Um, goes from 1st Avenue Northeast all the way down to 5th Avenue uh, Southeast. Um, again, the 7 8 vote uh, requirement uh, applies to this one as well. What's the wish of the council on resolution 2018-06? I make a motion to adopt. Second. Got a motion by Mayor Zilka, second by Councilmember Hansen on resolution 2018-06. Any discussion? Hearing none, resolution, call a roll, please. Zilka? Yes. Hanfler? Yes. Knopfla? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Hercock? Yes. Gushik? Yes. Lundberg? Yes. Carries. Resolution 2018-07, order in... Edgewater Road. Edgewood Road. Edgewood. Um, the next stretch that we're looking at is the east-west leg of Edgewood Road. Uh, we did receive a petition from an individual to build over here. He currently uh, as a contract for deed on the, the parcel. Uh, we'd be looking at installing sewer water um, and then blacktop on this, this stretch. It would be a rural section, so no curb and gutter. Uh, we are, as staff, proposing that, uh, are recommending that this would be a deferred assessments until the individuals hook up, much like the rest of the Riverwood area. Um, again, it does need a 7 eighths vote from the council, so if uh, that is the wish tonight then we would be moving forward what's the wish of the council move to adopt as long as the deferments are associated with it second kind of motion by council member Knopfler, second by alderman hercock for approval any discussion just how we make sure that the deferments are in there as requested um, and Greg explained how we had to do that, but yep. I think that's an important part for, at least it is for me, I can't speak for everybody else, but it sounds like that's important to everybody. And that's yeah. the way the motion was, was read, so yes. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none, resolution, call the roll, please. Hanfler? Yes. Knopfler? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Hercock? Yes. Gushik? Yes. Lundberg? Yes. Zilka? Yes. Carries. Resolution 2018-08, order in front and Wood Street. So the last segment that we're looking at is Front Street uh, and a half a block of Wood Street. Uh, this is in preparation of our 2019 uh, projects with the 27, Trunk Highway 27 downtown. That allows us to flatten the curve coming off of Trunk Highway 27 uh, so that uh, delivery vehicles can continue to get down through here. It moves it away from uh, the dam a little bit, increases the uh, the speed on this. Anybody driven through that stretch knows that it's a basically a hairpin turn right in through there. Um, so. Tonight, again, 7 eighths vote uh, would be required to move forward with this uh, with this project. What's the wish of the council? I move to adopt resolution 2018-08. Second. I got a motion by Council Member Lundberg, second by Mayor Zilka for approval of resolution 2018-08. Any discussion? Well, Mr. Kim and I just for the fifth time now with the tabled vote uh, okay i get that but i just want you to know if i felt really strongly i wouldn't table i would just vote no and get my way <laughs> but in this case i don't have 
an answer to how we're going to divert traffic. Uh, I do question the wisdom of the timing on this project and then beat it up. But like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't have a plan B to get traffic through town. So I like this one the least, but I understand the need for it. Uh, is it essential you put that little half block in for Wood Street? It is in order to, right now the, right now the sanitary sewer runs down and through here. So we need, we're looking at abandoning this stretch because there's really nothing that's served on its old clay okay. tile as well. Okay. We're looking at replacing it um, with PVC pipe over here that would serve uh, these par properties if they develop. That makes a little more sense. Yep. Yep. Any other discussion? Hearing none, resolution, call the roll, please. Knopfla? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Turcock? Yes. Kushik? Yes. Lundberg? Yes. Zilka? Yes. Hanfler? Yes. Carries. On new business, ordinance number six, seven series, amend city code, chapter two, section 2.02, .02, paragraph E, eliminating cable TV review board. Introduce, Mayor. John? Yes, I believe that the, the mayor's been trying to fill vacant positions. We've had at least two um, within the last six months um, resigned from the cable board and nobody has uh, been willing to, to fill those seats, as well as there is no statutory need to have the cable board anymore. Uh, we were meeting on a quarterly basis. I would recommend that we still uh, invite that the representatives from the public access channels, both for our, our channel as well as the school, to give us um, quarterly or at least someone regular updates of the things going on with the channels. That was, I felt, the most important information that was coming out of those those meetings. Um, and we can uh, simply move, move forward. All the decisions of the cable board would have been recommendations as well. Um, the the council ultimately has the final authority over approvals on the items of the cable board. Do a motion? I'll make um, a motion. It's been introduced by Councilmember Gushik. Petition, utility improvements. Marvin Hoheisel, receive. Tonight we're asking to, the council to receive the petition. So wish to the council. Motion to receive. Second. Got a motion by Mayor Zilka, second by Councilmember Hansen to receive. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Police records technician recommendation from the interview committee, accept, chief. On January 25th and 26th, we conducted a first round of interviews for uh, the police technician or records technician position. Um, there were 29 initial applicants and we ended up interviewing 19. Um, the interview panel on the first round was myself, uh, Captain Kyle Johnson, Rhonda Monier, and Jane Holman, uh, dispatch supervisor with Morrison County. We uh, came up with four finalists and then a second round of interviews were done on February 1st with uh, John, uh, City Administrator. Administrator and uh, Chief Deputy Jason Worley. Uh, they came up with a finalist, and at this time, we'd be, I would be requesting authorization to hire Lacey Burgart as a police uh, records technician for the police department. What's the wish of the council? Make a motion to accept the interview panel's recommendation. Second. Got a motion by Alderman Hercock, second by Council Member Canofla. To accept an appoint. Any discussion? Thank Hearing none, all, all in favor? Oh. Just said thank you for all those interviews. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Any reports? Announcements? Uh, Camp Ripley Veterans Trail, uh, we met recently and had a presentation from Greg. Looks like Little Falls has everything in place. We have to spend $1.7 million before the end of this year. And uh, all we're waiting upon right now is DNR approval. So once that takes place, it looks like uh, you could start here and at least this thing will get going. And once that happens, we expect it to snowball until we finish it. So uh, 
Greg did a good job in his presentation. Uh, everyone on the board liked what they saw. The DNR liked it, but they still have to do a little bit of checking here. Right. Uh, mainly Lindbergh Park, I guess. So. Right. So this, the stretch that Councilman Goshek is referring to, for, uh, the DNR gave us uh, approval to design the trail from Mill Park down to Lindbergh State Park. Uh, we completed that design. It's at about 98, 99% uh, complete. We sent it into the DNR for their review uh, and, and comment, and we're waiting to hear back from them on that. Um, there is a sunset date in terms of when those funds, there are bonding funds that uh, can be used at December 31st, 2018. So we're looking at doing construction on the Lindbergh Drive uh, portion of the that trail this year once they get uh, the comments and approval back to us. Greg, is that done on the right of way? Or is it's done within the right of way, yes. Yep. And then there's going to be like a trailhead or a, not a trailhead, but a place to park cars and yep. stuff at Mill. Yep, Street. so we're proposing to have a pavilion in, uh, in Mill Park as well as a paved parking lot. Um, that's an alternate to it. We've got to get the DNR's approval on that stretch as well as the council's, obviously. Um, but that, that stretch would be uh, through the DNR funds uh, so we wouldn't have any out-of-pocket expense on the, on the city side. And, and the new bridge would have... A bike path and a the new bridge that we excuse me that we show on the the image this, this evening would have the ability for um, for that bike trail it's wide enough for the bike trail uh, to go across there that would be the intent uh, when that is designed and constructed yes there was a dream to have a bridge go across Mill Park over to Maple Island but after looking at the cost uh, there's a bridge available we could probably get for literally nothing but the cost to ship it here and then to go through and engineer it and make sure it meets all the safety expectations and everything it'd probably take us 20 years just to get that all yep. in place so isn't maple island private property nope that's the city owns that oh i thought uh minnesota power owned it no, no. i think it'd be better to pursue something going across the new bridge yep. And we don't have to maintain it. Thank you, then. That's great. And we don't have to maintain it. So we can't do nothing with. Any other announcements? Hearing none, we will adjourn or recess to a closed city council meeting pursuant to Minnesota State Statute 13D.05C3 to discuss the offer for the purchase of part of lot 17 through 20, Block B, Mississippi edition, and part of government lot 4, parcel 49.1268.000. And Council President, we do.